Alright, so this is a tutorial on how to use SN64 Editor, the newest one from when this video was uploaded, 2.1. So, first of all, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna get like a basic Mario 64 ROM, like the one on mario64hacks.com is the one I use. So you're going to want to load that. It's going to ask you if you want to extend it, and you're going to say yes. If you use this, the ROM extender, once it loads up, it won't work. So don't don't use this. But you want to do this, and then you're going to want to load the model, which is an OBJ file like this. And then it, it'll say load collision, and if you have two separate models... Like, one of them will have, say, like, an invisible wall or something that you want, then you can load that here. Or if you don't want that, it'll just automatically put the one you put here to here. And here you're going to ex you're going to choose the, the level you want to replace. Here, you're going to want to enable death floor. If you, um, if you're making, like, a level that doesn't have, like hits or anything you can just not do this like um like a level like bob on battlefield wouldn't have this and um this is this stuff um ignore size limit is used if you're making like a big level but you don't really want to do this most of the time and um yeah don't hit centered by the way that just messes it up so level settings, the first thing you want to choose is the train type. Most of the time it's just going to be normal. But if you want, like, um, snowflakes, for example, you could choose snow. Or, like, slip or like a slide would be slippery. So, um, this is where you choose your music. Of course, we'll get into music once we get to the music settings up here. But here's where you choose the background. Most of the time I do above clouds, but you can also do like everything else from Mario 64. Um, here's the environment effect. This is this is again like snow and like the I don't know I haven't really used most of these, but like I know lava will make like um, little lava bubbles and it'll make the sound. So um, this is where you choose the camera. This is where you can put in custom backgrounds, and the initial position where you start when you, like, select a save file. And this is tweaks, we'll get into tweaks later. And, um, fog is, yeah, it's fog. <laughs> like, um, you can select how much fog you want, what color. Again, red, RGB stands for red, green, blue, so that's how much of the colors you want. And the RAM bank is, um, this is essentially what objects you want to have. So, like, if I wanted to put King bob I would select this. So, you can see that's this doesn't really affect anything. This just shows you what is in the RAM bank. This actually affects the game itself. But, yeah. And here is the collision. So, all of the textures in your model will appear in here, and you're basically going to select what you want that to do. Like, I could make it a death floor, or it could make it, like, a climbable hill, or a slippery hill. There's a lot of things you can do. Like, this right here is quicksand. And here is where you do water boxes and scrolling textures. So, if I did enable this, essentially I could choose just regular water, but most of the time you don't really want to do this. Instead what I do is I select invisible water. And then I'll put the actual like water that you will see in, in the model itself. So that I can be more exact. And then in Toad's tool is where you get the um, the coordinates. So essentially you think XZ, XZ. What is, what is that even supposed to mean? So essentially... Since it is a box, it's going to be like a rectangle, so what you're doing is you're getting the opposite points on the rectangle, and you're getting the X and Z of those, and then you'll put them in here. And the height is the Y that you want. So Y in Toad's Tool. 
and then for scrolling textures you basically want to select the like the thing you want like the texture you want then you'll select if you want it to go like horizontal or vertical with x or y and then you set the speed it goes up to seven and yeah and then offset polygon that's basically if you want it to like stop or, like skip a polygon and in case you're wondering what a polygon is it's basically like in order like in order to find the number you basically want to in your model like let me op let, let, let me open this up so if i wanted to find how many triangles like this was this texture like how many triangles would it be if i connected this it's two right so a rectangle would be like two and so you basically would do that in order to find it but that's actually pretty easy it sounds kind of complicated but it's not so um the start level is what level you're st you'll start the game in you know that's pretty basic the start lives is how many lives you start with and the pause warp is like where where you start or where you would go when you exit a level uh... this i'm not really sure i guess it's for the camera or something I've never used this. This, I'm not really sure either. I mean, I guess it's something about the act selector. Honestly, don't really mess with that. So this, I guess, would reset that. This, okay, don't enable this. So when you open up your ROM in Project 64, it's going to give you two error messages, but that's normal. Like, you want that. If you restore this, you're not going to be able to, like, edit your ROM again. Because that basically makes it, like, a finished game. So you want to not enable this until you're done with the game. However, you do want to do extend level boundaries, enable widescreen improvements, and RCVI hack. Because th those are all really important, especially this one. So we'll do that. And then, so here. So if you want to set, like, the coordinates for a star where it, like, pops up, that's what you do. You just put in the XYZ. You can get the XYZ from um, Toad's Tool. So that's pretty simple. A trajectory is a little bit more, like, not really complicated, but a lot of people get confused about it. So if I wanted to set, like, where Koopa the Quick was going to run, I would basically go into Notepad, and I would put in the coordinates, like, X, Y, Z. So, like, here, I'll show you one that I have. Here's Koopa the Quick trajectory one. I guess I can't. I didn't really open it. <laughs> but, um, let me go in there. But essentially, you just put in the coordinates that you want. Here it is. Like this. And then he will run to these coordinates and then run to the next one. And then he'll stop. So, it's not as hard as it seems. And um, the seconds for the side star is how much time. So it's basically 21 seconds. Then you can go up or down from there. A box content is if you want to set, like, um, if you want to put, like, a bob bomb in a box, this is what you would do. PPF is, like, a patch, like the More Objects patch by Kaze. You would do that here. Uh, the tweaks is really, really useful. So, essentially, it makes using the hex much easier, because you can just hit Apply Tweak and you did it. And it's much easier. And you can also make your own tweaks. But essentially, like, this one is the big bomb health. So if I hit were to hit apply tweak, then I could choose how many hits I wanted him to have. And, like, all of these do different things. Although I do want to say, skip the opening. Don't do this unless you have put a custom hub in. Because if you don't, the game, you're like, it'll basically ruin your ROM. So, don't do that. Also, speaking of, like, ruining your ROM, make sure you always have a copy of your hack. So if you accidentally ruin your ROM, you're not, like, you're not completely screwed over. Okay, the dialogue editor, that's pretty obvious what it is. And you choose, choose what you want. It's pretty easy. The hex is also is like 
honestly, you don't really, like, don't use this unless you're making, like, a really complex hack that's gonna have, like, complicated stuff. Like, just use the tweaks if you're making a simple hack. So then you would save that. And here is the music. So essentially, Mario 64 music is .m64 files. So if I wanted to replace, like, um, the Bob on Battlefield song, I would open it up in here. Then I would load the M64. Let's say I wanted it to be, like, the Sonic 3 Final Boss or something. I'd just select that, and then I'd insert it. And then you need to go into here. I would go to Bob on Battlefield, and I would select which one I needed that to be. So, if, like, wherever you get your M64, or if you made it yourself, you'll know which, um, instrument set you want. Like, if you get it from Mario World Central, which is where I get my music, then you could just, it'll t it tells you which one you need, and then you would select the one, and you'd hit save. And, yeah, that's basically how FM64 Editor works. Also, you can save all your settings in here, and you can load them. Uh, you can preview your level, I guess. That's kind of pointless. I don't know why you would do that. You could just use Toad's tool. Um, this is... Um, oh, yeah, and custom import. So, obviously, that's how you just import the level. But custom import is kind of cool. Because you can change the model for something like a thwomp. Of course, or the title screen, which is pretty important. Or, like, a lot of other things, like Mario himself. Or a Goomba. Just, yeah, stuff like that. And again, you would just put that model in here, and then you would go to custom import. So yeah, that's that's SM64 editor. So thanks for watching.